<laughs> Welcome everybody! Hi! Uh, we're playing Banjo Kazooie! Yeah, we're going to. Look what at this! What is it called? What's the, what's the next level called? Tanker's Cavern! Yeah! It's such a good level. It is? It's a good level. It's a good level. Bubble Gloop Swamp is the evil level from hell. There's always one level that everyone just absolutely hates in most video games they play. It's a good level. It's just... Is this a feather pillow? Down feather. It is? No. Are you sure? I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to cut my pillow open. It's nice. Why would you cut your pillow open? I said I don't want to cut my pillow open. I, don't want, to... I want to find out, but I don't know. Does it not say it on the tag? No, it's fucking. I, it's an IKEA pillow, so it says like Goobity Gobbity Gin. Goobity Gobbity Gin? Yeah. We'll just learn Goobity Gobbity Gin. I don't want to learn Goobity Gobbity Gin. It's called Ghost of Siren. Goose Feather. Maybe. Gosa? That's because I'm like it could be good. Yeah, could be good. Like, is IKEA Swedish? I suddenly don't know. Just the one you move to find in this place. But it's hidden well, you asshole! You couldn't just put it somewhere where you could find it right away? You poop hat. Poop <laughs> hat, oh my god. I've seen a poop hat. I don't understand that fetish. It's not a fetish. Fetish. What are you, why are you talking about fetishes? Because you started talking about poop and you guys seen a poop hat. I don't know why not about anyone that like corporophilia. I don't get it. My brain always goes there. My brain always goes in the wrong places and I apologize to everybody. They'll, they'll learn to love it. I guess. I just like... I honestly want to ask somebody who's like totally into that and she's like, what is the appeal? Like, just that curiosity. I think it's really like kind of a, that your brain always goes to that, considering you're asexual. Yeah. <laughs> your brain's always like, ha, porn and shit, and like. like and I'm gonna make you think about it. You're I'm not gonna just, like I'm it. Just like, oh, you're god. gonna oh, think god. about it. It's like I don't want to think about it, but thanks. Okay. Oh, I will use this. Yeah. Ooh. Hey, we're in Clinger's cavern. Yeah. It's the cavern. Oh. Clavern? The Clavern. Uh, Cavern owned by Clanker. The Clavernet. Clavernet. Mm -hmm. Clavernetskis. So I was watching Kenny play, um, Dying Light, I think, yesterday? Uh -huh. A couple days ago? Uh -huh. And he was in the sewers, and he was like, yeah, I purposely jumped in the sewer water. I'm like, what in the fuck? There's Clanker. <sighs> Hi. What is wrong with you? <laughs> That's what he's saying, look. <laughs> <laughs> is he a good guy or a bad guy? Oh, that's right, Keanu Neutral. <laughs> he's a good guy. He's not even- he's not chaotic in any way. He just likes up. Yeah, he's like, hey. What are you doing, eh? Hey, neutral, neutral. I can help you out, I guess. He didn't even help you out, he just kinda sits there. We help him out. But he doesn't- he doesn't help us out with her. He just happens to be in convenient places. Golden feathers! Oh, oh I just remembered where the, the ability is. Where's it? Uh, it's uh, inside my Oh, that's awful. Yeah. We're gonna go save Clanker's life. Kind of. Oh, he's chained down. Yeah. He's still gonna be chained down when we're done with him. Oh. Just less chained down. He, it, it's like he hit the halfway, like the halfway safe word. He's like, yellow! It's like, yeah, slow down, I'm not okay with this. It's like, I'm okay with it, keep going. Just slower. Not that much. <laughs> A little less. Gloop, grab my bubbles if you're low on air. Bubbles from where are, what? Yeah, you'll see. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, from his mouth, okay, that's all right. <laughs> not as bad as what I was expecting. What were you expecting? Butt bubbles. Why would you have butt bubbles? I don't know, she poops out eggs and makes <laughs> noises. That's true. Yay! Yeah. Clank clankers. I hope I don't drown to death. He's just like... <laughs> That's actually the noise he makes when he drowns. He goes... <laughs> Great. I'm pretty terrified right now. Where is the master of the bubbles? Yeah, I got one. Hey, Gloopy Gloop. 
Go get another one and go get all the music. Good music. Yes. Yeah, probably when you need to sleep. So you're just like. I missed one. I missed Two. another. Oh. Like, I better not fucking miss this one! He didn't. I didn't. He maybe. didn't. <laughs> I got it. I think they noticed. Maybe. It's like, they don't know. They don't know what they see. They're not. They don't know what they're watching. They're like, where the hell are we? What are we doing? What are we watching? Huh? Why am I here? What are you doing? Huh? <sighs> where am I? Oh, I found out yesterday. And Kenny watched some of it. There is an episode of Fairly Odd Parents I didn't know existed. Maybe you did. What? Where it turns out that Timmy made an illegal wish that no one would age ever, and he got to keep his Fairly Odd Parents forever. And like when they found out, it had been 50 years since he made the wish, and he was actually like 60 years old. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, they actually they made it, and like it explains why everything is the way it is in the show, like why nothing changes. Huh. Yeah. That's the best explanation for a show that I've ever seen. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, no, I've never seen that. Yeah, and like it was funny because he there was an episode. There was an episode where he was older. As well. Isn't it the one like older, like old man older, or like he teenager? was going through time? Oh yeah, that one. But like the way that he got away with the wish was because he wished for it with Cosmo, and then he wished Cosmo would forget that he made the wish. <laughs> And Cosmo's like a fucking idiot, so. Cosmo! I thought it was funny how, like, in the very first episode... He was, like, all manly. Cosmo and, like, had, like, the dad's voice. Yeah. And then Cosmo became, like, really stupid. Yeah, and then his voice got super high-pitched. You remember the episode of Dexter's Lab? Oh, yeah. Where he was traveling through time. <gasps> yeah! And there's, like, skinny, tall Dexter. It's like, goodbye, Billy! <laughs> goodbye, Billy! <laughs> and there was, like, super big buff Dexter. Yes. That's your but like it was funny because like in the future, like he meets Mr. Crocker and Mr. Crocker like didn't age at fucking all. Oh, is he a wizard? No, he, I feel like he explains why he didn't age, but it doesn't like make any sense. Oh. And he's like, you look really good for 103. <laughs> yeah, it was like the weirdest thing. And it also explains why his ears are like on his neck. Really? Yeah. It was like really strange. It was like a traumatic childhood event or something. I don't remember. That caused him not to age. No, the cause. Yeah, it caused him not to age and caused his ears to go on his neck or something. It was so strange. Like. It was pretty weird. I think it was funny though that they actually like explained stuff. I was like, oh wow, this is this is interesting. So, <laughs> Lily came up, uh, uh, gave me a uh, good point uh, earlier today. So we're saying <laughs> with our let's plays. We don't even talk about the game. We're basically just doing a podcast while playing games. <laughs> you sort of talk about the game sometimes. I know. It is a fun. Is that is it bad? I don't think it's bad. If people like it, they will watch. If they don't like it, fuck them. Don't fuck them. We probably literally. won't be able to get to them, but they're not important. <laughs> Aww. Oh. Oh. Make you sad that when people don't like us. No. I don't care about them. No. I do care about them. I care about all of humanity, even though it makes me upset. I don't. Upset. Yeah, there's two kinds of people. You care even if it makes you upset. It makes me upset, so I'm like, fuck it. I hate everything and everyone. Because I hate everyone. I hate everyone. I love cats, though. That is a song by Say Anything. I figured. But yeah, I love cats. Does it just sound like the same? Or something? Are those, like, say anything in the same way that you actually sing a lot of? No. Yeah, it is. I don't listen to that much. He doesn't listen to it, but you sing a lot of it. You used to. You know why I don't anymore? The MP3 player I had, it broke. Aww. It had so much say anything on it. And now I can't have it back. I need to buy all the CDs, though. Mm -hmm. I like that band. He's a Didn't you go to the concert? I did. Does he have a big head? He has a huge head. Max <laughs> Venus, he's got a big head. And his guitar player, also a big head, but he's like eight feet tall. Nice. <laughs> so he deserves a big head. But he's really skinny. Look at that. We had a. Um, you remember Cole's brother had like a big old head too? I didn't think he was that big. Apparently he had to get like a. We had a friend in high school and his brother apparently had like a giant head. And, like, they, everything they were doing, they were going like a. 
zip lining. Yeah, zip lining. And Mexico. like, they, they didn't have like a helmet big enough to fit in his brother's head. And I was like, oh my god. Poor dude. He was basically a lollipop. <laughs> really skinny, big old noggin. Big old noggin. I didn't know you can get up here by doing that. Really? I'm awesome. Nice. Speedrunner. Uh, this is my speedrun. Speedrunner technique. I can't do speedruns. I get really upset if I don't collect everything in a minute. <laughs> no, there's actually, uh, speedruns are called 100%. Oh yeah, I know, but like, most speedruns are just like, going through as fast as you can and I'm like, super uncomfortable. I wouldn't even say most speedruns. I would say some speedruns. Anyway, he would speedrun Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and I could not- I can't- would... I can't speedrun. You- okay, speedrun- I would try. According to me. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. He would go through it like really, really fast, and like he wouldn't even get everything. I'd be like, you need to get heart pieces. He's like, nah, and I'm like, mm, fucking god. Because like so I know we're like, you're crushing a pillow. I'm like, Burr! but like I knew where everything was in the game, and he would just like completely ignore it, and I would get so mad. And I'm like, oh, I can't handle this. We should play that game just to show people how mad you get. Oh no. <laughs> No. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. I can't even think of a game that I honestly really get mad at. Like, the one game I remember actually throwing my controller while playing was Assassin's Creed. I love that game. I just wish it wasn't so boring. And the only reason I did it is because I was in, like, the final area. And, like, apparently, like, you're supposed to, you're, like, fighting this person. And, like, I keep fighting them and I keep knocking them down, but they don't keep dying. And it turns out that's not who you're supposed to fight. And I didn't know that and there was, like, no indication. For me, that I noticed, and I was like, oh my god, and I just got really mad at my controller. And my mom got mad at me, and I was like, yeah, it makes sense, because I mean, these controllers are fucking expensive. Oh. Last time I threw a controller. Was it, uh, PS3? Yes. Yeah, they're like 60 bucks. Uh, yeah, that was the last time I threw a controller. I was like, I don't really need this. So. Uh, or your day. <laughs> that reminds me, like when I would remember when the PlayStation Network got hacked and they gave you like two free games. Yeah. Yeah, my two free games were um, Infamous and fucking Zombie Nation or whatever that one was. Like I beat Infamous like a hundred, like not not a hundred percent because I'm missing like three shards and I didn't know until like I beat the game that there was like a button you could press to locate the shards nice. in the general vicinity. Nice. And like I was, I would literally, I would get like. A picture of the map. I would get a yeah. picture of the map, and I would freaking with all like the shard locations on it. I would put it in MSN Paint, in MS Paint, and every time I got a shard, I would like scratch it off in MS Paint, and I would, and, like I was fucking that is uncomfortable. What is? It was just really weird looking. That like it like flexed like, a sphincter. Like, yeah, it is a sphincter. That's fucking weird. Anyway. You know, you have many sphincters in your body. A lot of them, I know. I just don't see them. Yeah. Anyway. I'm missing like three shards in that game when it's been like four years. And I don't really want to go back because I don't really feel like traversing all throughout the goddamn city to find those three shards. Because then I, like, I want to play the game again and I want to get them both. And, like, I'm missing like flags in Assassin's Creed too, and I don't really like it. Yeah. I'm not like a super trophy hunter. I don't like trying to, I don't like trophy hunting, I just like getting everything and I don't know why, I just like, I was Look playing- Look at her googly eyeballs. Googly eyeballs. I was playing Castlevania, Symphony of the Night, and like, even if I didn't need to- Oh man, I thought I was gonna make it. I would still collect all the items from the enemies. Like, I have like, 15 of one sword. Probably more, if I checked. That's absurd. Yeah, well, it's because you, you know, there's items you get from when you they drop it, and I just have a shit ton of them. I was watching Game Girls play this. They couldn't figure out the rings. Obvious! <laughs> Jump through the only one that's a different color. Maybe they're all like weird colorblind. Like, maybe it's all like conveniently colorblind in a way that they can't see green differentiated from like blue. I just, I don't know. Maybe. I doubt it. Oh man, I missed that one. I think they got it eventually, I don't remember. But I that is gross. Like, why does he even have this shit? He's a mechanical shark. Uh... That's just, like, nasty bacteria and stuff going on inside of him. Is that, yes. is that a good explanation? I guess. Because you find those in other places other than his body. Is that... Oh, okay. Yay. 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 
punching me to the kidney. I'm sorry. Hey. I'd like you punch me back, but you don't do that. He never wants to like rough house. Like I always like I, I grew up with a brother, so I like I want to wrestle. I hurt people when I rough house on accident. Mm -hmm. Who'd you hurt? Only. I think I've hurt you too. Maybe. I don't remember. Okay, well you you like hurt me when we weren't even rough housing. Like you remember that one time we were in the mall and we were in like the kiddie pool and like the toy store and you got that stupid thing. Yeah, and it was this thing where you like suck water in oh. and then like you support support it out. You like stuck up my arm, like pulled the thing back so it sucked into my arm and then let go and like fucking punch me in the arm. <laughs> God. Ah. That was gay by the little whippy whippy tail. Oh, I got hit by it anyway. Still not as bad as like everything Cole did to me. He like, on accident, he was just like, it happened like three times I think. Once he was pushing me in a cart and it hit like a bump and it fell and I like scraped my palm. Yeah. The second time, like we were at my house hanging out and like he like spilled it on the floor so there's like a bunch of ants and I was like, hold, hold the Swiffer and like he held it and he sprayed the Swiffer jet in my face. Like, nice. And then oh, what was the other thing he did? That sounds like bad startling. Oh, that sounds bad. <laughs> Alright, well I'm done with, with this for now. Alright. Bye everybody! Goodbye! Tell you more stories about our life next time. Yay, more stories.